My personal philosophy of piano building is to create a sound that inspires pianists and musicians to play beautiful music. In my view of the world of sounds, music has to appeal to the soul and to the heart, not to the brain alone. Pianists should have some sounds to choose from. Just think of guitars. There's small guitars, big guitars, electric guitars, some with six strings, some with 12, all kinds of different guitars, for example. But in the world of piano, there's pretty much only one type of piano, and they are all very comparable. During my education as a piano builder, I was told that the pianos that are existing are the best that could ever be made and of course there are some well-known brands maybe I don't need to mention everybody knows what's supposed to be the best piano and when I began to work myself on pianos I ran into all kinds of trouble that was design related construction related that was the starting point for me to start pondering and wondering how could it be done better the basic idea of the Onacorda came to my mind quite a long time ago because so many people that I experienced as my clients would ask for a softer sounding piano. The first time I heard about David Clavins was probably in 2012 or 2013, where I saw a picture of his uh, tall piano, the M370. And then we scheduled a recording session. Uh, for January 2014, that was the first time I met David Clavins in person. We sat down at the Italian pizza place and uh, were discussing pianos. And then somebody was starting about this kind of one string per note idea. And then it was like, yeah, I had the same. Yeah, yeah, I love this too. And so we found out in that moment that we both were really intrigued by the idea of having a piano with only one string per note. The result of this discussion was that Neil said, I want to have such a piano, please make it if you can. And I, that was what I needed, of course, somebody who pushes for such an instrument that I had in mind conceptually, but not in detail. I asked him if he thought it would be doable, and uh, he always says everything is possible. And so I gave him the job to build one, to start building one just for me. And a couple months later, there it was. You see, normal piano is covered by usually black wood. And I was always wondering, even when I was a kid, like why would they build a loud piano to just cover it with wood in the next step? It doesn't make any sense to me. And so the Una Corda ended up being absolutely naked. We were already discussing that there should be something where you could put some felt between the hammers and the keys, which I would usually do on the upright pianos. We knew already the piano would be quieter, but I was even asking for that option to make it even more quiet. And so there is a very nice system how you can mount different types of fabric to a piece of metal. And um, you can change the pieces of fabric to other types of fabric from thinner to thicker types. And uh, this way you get in one instrument like five, six, seven different sounds. Then I also put pickups inside the piano, which cover the whole range of the instrument from the lowest string to the highest. And it, the pickup just sits closely behind the string. And I mix that pickup with some microphones, which have a different sound. And then I mix the sound of the pickup with the microphones and the felt, and of course the way I play the piano. Um, I think all these, all these factors create a very own distinct sound. very, very, very positively surprised by its playability. It really felt like a brilliant new instrument. It was so nice. First time in my life to have kind of like a new piano. It kind
kind of sits in between a clavichord, a guitar, a harp, and uh, that was exactly what I wanted. <laughs> 